Today we're going to talk about the new uh, Cobra system R series, the uh, new adder, their Cobra adder. Just got it in. This is what it looks like when it's all assembled. And we're going to go over the instructions and what might be missing and what comes with it. Some of the items you're going to find, and again the gun's assembled, but I'm going to talk to you about how to assemble the gun because the instructions don't include everything. So anyway, a couple things that come in, you do get an extra bag uh, that has your uh, an extra string in the bag there. You have a charger. The charger there is for the tactical flashlight that goes on the front. You also have a red dot laser that comes and you have a mount. We'll talk about that. It doesn't talk about really how to mount that has a uh, carrying strap for the gun itself, has a couple of extra pieces, and uh, these extra pieces here pretty much is for the rear stock. So if you don't like the stock that's on there, you can use this stock here. And the only difference is what it looks like on the back. That's it. A couple extra pieces here. Not really sure exactly what this spring is for yet. I'm guessing it goes on the inside of the gun. There's a couple of uh, uh, Allen wrenches that you're gonna need. And this is for uh, your red dot system so that you can wipe off that lens. You also get a really nice bag. The bag will carry everything as long as you break down the gun. So this has to come off and then you're good to go. Okay, so this is how the gun comes. Essentially you've got you do have some arrows. I've broken one arrow so far, and I have three left. Uh, I've also shot one, and I have no idea where it ended up. But um, when they go into targets, they have a little problem with the blasting with this. You also have the gun itself. You'll have the bow. You have the uh, uh, arrow holder. You have a rear stock. You have a screw that holds the stock in, the uh, uh, arrow holder in, and you also have your red dot system. So one of the first things that you probably want to do when you get this, and it doesn't tell you until later in the instructions, they give you a thing of wax, right? And it's the bow wax. So what you want to do is you're going to want to take this wax and you want to coat this rail that's on top. And pretty much what you're doing with this rail is you are, let's see if I can zoom in on that just a little bit. You're gonna coat this section here, all along here. That's where the arrow slides in and out. And you're also going to coat the black section that slides along that rail, because that's gonna take all the wear and tear. So you make sure you get the wax all the way around. Do this before you start the instructions because the instructions don't tell you about the wax until later. Then you have to disassemble the bow in order to get everything on. We're gonna talk more about those arrows here in just a little bit. But let's uh, talk about how we get the gun assembled. The instructions are fairly decent on this. Okay, so now we need to assemble the bow. And what we're gonna do, first thing you have to do, there's a pin that's in here and is located right here. And this pin goes all the way through, as you can see here. So you can use one of the Allen wrenches, like this. Find the, the have a big fat side here, and you have a narrow side. So if you use this narrow side here, you can just simply push in here, and that pin will push through. And when you push that pin through, you don't, it'll pull through and you hear a click. Listen. When it clicks there, and again, it goes pretty easily, stop. If you pull this thing through, it tells you you have to send the gun back to Go Gun, and then they're going to have to repair this in Germany. So once you get it there, stop. So now you have uh, this section here that had the bow, and the bow has a uh, big fat plastic piece here on, the, on one side, and on the other side you have a groove, okay? This groove is on the top, and it aligns with the rest of this groove here on this channel. And where that is, that's where the arrow slides through. So once we get this bow section in here, that's going to align with that, and it slides in pretty good, just like that. Once you've got it in, then you go ahead and push this pin through, just like that, and it pushes all the way through, and it kind of snaps into place. Once you've done that, that's it. It completes. 
The next thing you're going to do is you're going to attach this arrow holder in and again this portion here uh, the instructions are good on this uh, that's what pushes the arrows down this goes in here and it slides on super super easy you don't want to push it down this actually just slides in here so if I line this up this way it will um, there's two pins see that right here and it's on both sides and these go underneath here on both sides so you're going to push this right in front of that for the most part and you're going to just let it slide in there just like that and just it literally lays in there and if I pull this back you can see that it's just there's no effort to this at all it just slides in here lays on top and once you've done this right you can see on the back here that this is all clear and again there's literally nothing here that's hard at all so at that point you need to lock this in place and to lock it in place you're going to use this piece right here it's located in one of the little bags for you okay so it slides in right there next to the safety and there's a big hole and this is going to line up perfectly for you once it, it once it stops and you just start screwing it in and it's going to screw all the way in let me go ahead and show you this from this angle here this is really good design the instructions are really clear all the way up until this point once it's in you just go in finger tight once you've done that this section in here is on here really really good okay so now you're ready i think for the stock it doesn't talk much about the stock at all but the stock is kind of dummy simple it just slides right up in here you can see so you can see it has that double pin in here and that goes right into here into the back but you can't slide it up in here until the pin is removed it has a pin that's identical to the one that was on the arrow holder so again you're going to use your allen wrench push this through just like that it's going to click just like the other one did now this slides in there super easy boom once it's in here like this you just simply push the pin back in all the way and again you do that with your thumb there's no effort to it at all this stock is nice it once you push on this little lever down here on the bottom it allows you to slide and adjust here adjust where you like this stock where it fits for you okay so that's how you do this next thing I did was I wanted to go ahead and mount my red dot system okay well the red dot system there isn't anything in the instructions on how or where to mount this red dot system I had to look at pictures and once it's all said and done with you figure out that the right place to mount it is right here on this section on the top of the arrow holder and there's two screws that are in this right you have here and here right so you take the one that's closest to the view finder and you're going to just take it out and you're going to put it in a bag and hold it because you don't need it for the gun so that goes away this in here has to be loosened up so that this mechanism this mechanism here will grip what's here so this simply just once it's loose you're going to just slide it on but let me talk about this too on the bottom of this again there's no instructions with this you have the instructions on here where it's you've got the low or high setting or off a lot of you guys that use red dot systems are already really familiar with this but the battery if you mount this thing really quick the battery is located right here underneath this little plastic section so if you mount this on here all the way and then later on you're like oh wait a second this doesn't work well there's a battery that comes with this and it's in the bag as well a little bitty uh, 2032 the flat disc batteries and this just pulls off of here it's just a little plastic piece and just pulls off just like a real super easy boom and then your battery goes right in here so whenever I mounted this on here I wanted to make sure I had access to the battery push that right back on there's no effort to it at all this slides onto here and I'm going to show you something so once you've got this see where that battery section is right there you can mount that all the way up here if you want and if you mount it up here you're going to block that battery all right I wanted access to it so I like it right here on this edge where this lines up here once you've done that all you need to do at that point is you take your allen wrench and you're going to tighten that one bolt screw right here 
right there. So let's see. Get that in there. And it's just going to make it grip onto that ledge, just like that. Not too tight. And there it is, it's on there good and tight. All right. Now, I'm not sure where these things are lined up as far as your sights are concerned, but that's where I lost my first arrow. I went ahead and aimed at the target and tried to find out, okay, how close is this thing set? It fired a good foot and a half above the target and I have no idea where it is. It, I don't think it made it to the neighbors, but we're hoping. So there we go. Now, once this is done, the next thing you have to do, really, is to mount the, uh, this section here. And it's already mounted on here. It doesn't come this way with the flashlight because these are optional items. But what you end up with is a two-piece uh, mount here and the back side, okay? And um, this sandwiches the uh, laser and the flashlight. This flashlight is unbelievable. So anyway, once, uh, what you gotta do is you have to remove a piece. The piece looks just like this. They're identical on both sides, okay? And it comes out, again, with an Allen wrench. So you take out the one piece and you're gonna put it, there it is right there, you're gonna put it inside your bag somewhere, okay? And then this will mount nicely. What you wanna do is you wanna mount it so that this section here is lower. So the flashlight and the laser are gonna be lower. This laser is not used for pretty much aiming. It's pretty much if you're going to be doing shoot from the hip type things. It's not going to be that accurate, but it'll give you a general location of your target. So once you've done that, you'll need a, a small Phillips screwdriver, but you're going to take your two original Allen uh, screws that were in there and you're going to put those back in. That's going to mount the back portion of the bracket. Then you have the sandwich portion. So you kind of lay your laser and your flashlight in, and then you're going to use a screwdriver and you have five screws, and that's gonna sandwich that unit together. Once you've done that, it's pretty much complete. This is very accurate, very easy to fire. This cocking me mechanism and so forth, it does take a little bit of pressure. Jorg's a big guy. I'm a fairly decent guy too, my wife's not as big. So uh, what happens here is that this pulls back nicely so that you can kind of release this safety mechanism and then it starts ready to cock. But you can see it grabs in here but that just pops in here. Whenever you're cocking the gun, I like to put this underneath my armpit. If you put your arm, if you put this, the butt of the gun against your shoulder and try to cock this, this is gonna slide off your shoulder. There's a lot of force that's going on right here. So if you'll take this section here, put it underneath your armpit when you're cocking here. Uh, actually, you're gonna just, you're gonna grab here. This is only for holding when you're shooting the gun. But here is where you're gonna hold when you're cocking the, the gun and ready, ready to fire. So uh, again, this goes under your shoulder, then you'll have a lot more leverage when you get ready to cock your gun, even if you're a woman. So that's not a problem there, or a smaller guy. Now that said, let's talk about another issue. It comes with five arrows. These arrows, uh, they get a little finicky when they go into targets, as you can see, but it doesn't affect their flight, even though they're kind of mangled. And these arrows have been shot about seven or eight times, and you can see what kind of condition that the uh, feather portion is in. I'm not a bow and arrow guy, so I can't tell you all the stuff. But the great thing about these is that, one, they're stackable. Two, they have the uh, knocks, I think is what they call these, knocks, that, and these are push-in knocks. So when you are getting this out of a target, you're almost gonna wanna grab in here, because if you pull here, this knock's gonna come out of the arrow. The tips are nice. Again, uh, they screw out, so you can put the uh, broadhead in there. And this screw mechanism that goes in the arrow itself, this screw mechanism is, uh, it's a push-in mechanism, right? I've already had one arrow that failed on me. And I used this screw-in mechanism, this push-in, for something else, and I failed in what I was trying to get done. Because while I was on the site, I needed extra arrows. I figured five arrows isn't gonna be enough for this gun. So I bought this kit. This is your R9, uh, R9 system, and it has the seven and a half inch carbon crossbow bolts, okay? If you look at the reviews on here, the reviews say that these things suck. And you know what? They do, they're horrible. You can probably use them now. If you compare the two, they're the same length. 
but you'll see a difference right here at the top. So if we line this up on the bar, just like that, you line them up, your knocks line up, your feathers line up, but your tips, look at your tips. That's where your difference is. So this tip comes right out of, out of here after you pull it out probably one or two times in the target. This is gonna be left somewhere in your target, okay? It just pulls out, it's not held in here very well at all. So I thought, okay, I'll be slick. So I pushed this in to one of the other arrows and I have that here, easy to find the arrow. So here, when that arrow broke, I ended up, this is one of the red ones, okay? So now I have, I have a, the blue original and I have two reds. One red is original as it came in the, the canister and the other one not. When you're doing this, what you can see is that there is a difference in your arrow length when you try to make this arrow better. It makes this arrow about a half inch longer. When that happens, that difference right there is enough to make it not fit in the gun. So the only way you're gonna be able to make this work with these red tip arrows that they sell you is to cut all of these arrows. You can see how high that is. You're gonna to wanna to measure and cut them to right here. And then you gotta find something to put in here. Because these are simply push in with the red, the red and everything, because this is a simply a push in head, you cannot screw a broad head in any of these. So this packet right here is virtually worthless. It's good for about two shots inside there, and unless you have this screw-in mechanism, you're toast. You're absolutely toast, and the arrow is no good. So if I had to say that there's a disappointment, that's my disappointment, because without ammunition to fire in this gun, it's no good. You can buy all the guns you want to. No ammunition, you can't shoot it. And that is where you're gonna end up with this until they modify these arrows that they sell. These are not available in the United States. So when you get ready to buy them, Germany is your only source for them, unless you make your own. So, and I'm gonna guarantee you this too, since that was enough, that little difference at the top, if I measure this, put it right here on the bar, so I'll line them up. This little bit of difference at the top is in length. Since that there was enough to make this not fit, guess what's gonna happen when you unscrew this off of the blue arrows? And you do that, you put the broadhead on, and you do that, that broadhead is going to make it not fit in the gun. You're going to have to cut all of your arrows in order to make a broadhead fit. That's my review. Great gun, crappy ammunition. <laughs>